One can hardly imagine, I think, how poor we would be today were it not for the rapid population growth of the past to which we owe the enormous number of technological advances enjoyed today. If I could redo the history of the world, halving population size each year from the beginning of time on some random basis, I would not do it for the fear of losing Mozart in the process. Born in 1933, Edmund Schroeter Phelps is an American economist and the winner of the 2006 Nobel Prize in Economics. Early in his career, he became renowned for his research in the 1960s on the sources of economic growth. Theories like the solo swan and the AK model were not good enough for him. He wanted something more, something that explained economic growth better. A new strong urge cropped up deep inside the complex corpus of Phelps. The need for a new endogenous growth model was felt. Is technology really exogenous? The logic is simple. People are required in order for new ideas to be developed. But once a productive and valuable idea is born, it can be transferred to others essentially at no cost. Thus, the amount of new ideas per capita will grow with population size. Coming closer in time, an economist by the name of Charles I. Jones was contemplating on Phelps' papers about endogenous growth. So far, so good, he said. Population and ideas are the two key ingredients to generate growth. But what do we really need in an economy for it to flourish?